In this video, we're going to go over the sequencer basics on the Sinstrom Deluge. It is recommended that if you want to get to know all these features, to watch this video multiple times until it becomes second nature. If you take a few minutes out a day and repeat these videos, it'll become so much easier to use. So the switch is right back here. When we turn this on, we can see that we're in clip view and we're also in synth. Let's turn the knob to 34. Now let's imagine this grid here is divided out horizontally in sets of four. So we have four, eight, 12, 16. So we're just gonna be looking at the first note of each column here. So here, we just put in a note on every division here. So as you saw, we inserted a note by pressing on a blank pad. To erase a note, you just press the lit pad. So let's make some notes here. So I'm gonna press a note here. Maybe I can preview with the audition pads. Okay, so I'm just trying out different notes here and then seeing, following it over to the timing that I want. Again, one every division here. Now let's press play to listen to it. We can watch the steps go right through. I can hold a note to drag it up and down. So if I want to hear it, I have to stop the transport. Sounds a little off, so I'm going to go down one more note. I think that'll sound better. Okay, so I like that, but I want to make the notes longer. So to do that, you just hold on a note and then tell it where you want that tail to end. So you can just go like this. Let's say we just made the note and I want to chop the tail right here. I'm just going to press right here. It just chopped that tail right off. I can make this one maybe this long. And then this note up here, make it a little, maybe go even beyond this note. And then that one will be that long. So now we can hear it. I want to chop that one down. If we want to change the octave, you just hold or press the up down knob and turn it. So if I go right while that's held down, it's going to go up an octave. If I hold it, and turn left, it goes down an octave. So let's press play. So it's at this octave, whatever that may be. I'm gonna hold it down and turn it right, up an octave, and go higher. Same thing, hold down, turn left, left, left again. Yeah, you can go way low. If we want to transpose notes, all we have to do is hold shift while we're doing that same function. So let's, while it's playing, hold down shift, push down, up, down, knob, turn left. Now that just transposed. Let's go an octave up, so hold down, press up. So now, let's erase this pattern. Let's hold the left and right knob and press back. It'll say clear. Let's say we wanted to undo that, just press back again by itself. Undo. Let's say we wanted to redo whatever we just did, hold down shift, back, redo. Let's undo again, again, clearing a pattern. This is going to be the whole pattern and it'll just clear the whole thing. Again, left, right knob, push down, and press back. If you want to duplicate this pattern, as in make this double the length with the same notes in, just hold down shift and tap left, right knob. So we can see it took that whole pattern, doubled the pattern, 
and applied it. Now if I'm zoomed in and I do that operation, shift, press left, right knob, we can see it just zoomed out to that double that we did originally. So if we're at this zoom though, looking here at eighth notes because I'm pressing left, right knob. So we're at that zoom right now. Hold down shift, left, right knob. There we are again. Now we have double of double or four times the original note. Let's undo all of that. Let's say we want to do something more precise. So now we're in 16th view. That's just, let's say that's our default view, 16 steps, just like any old sequencer that we might have. Now I'm going to hold down shift and turn the left, right knob. Now, as we can see, we're extending by a step all the way to two bars. Let's say I wanted to just extend the bar. So if you hold down shift and flick it to the right, it jumps a bar. So let's go back to the first pattern here and let's listen to it. So we like that pattern, let's say, but we want to extend the phrase. So let's go another note, two notes, three notes. Let's just do three more notes. So we're in the first screen, that's that first pattern, and then it's going to go to this. But if we want to make it, say, two bars, and then we'll just add another note. Let's shorten these notes again. If you want to extend the length of a note from, say, a past screen, so this note, I want to extend to the second screen, for example. Just hold down left, right knob, and press where you want that tail to end. Then you scroll back, you can see you just extended across the screen. To zoom in and out, we can press the left, right knob down and turn it. So right now we're in 16th. If we turn left, we're looking at 8th. We zoom in 32nd. Now we're looking at 32nd. Now we can see it'll say 1 1, 1 3. So you're, you're thinking of it like this 1 1, 1 2, and then this is 1 3 as it showed 1 4, 2 1, 2 2, 2 3 as you saw, and 2 4. But if you just want to go back to the basics, just zoom right to 16th view. We can see we only have two screens here, and we should be all set. Depending on your zoom level, you can actually zoom in, make 64th notes, zoom out, then make 32nd notes, zoom out, 16th notes. So that works as well. Let's undo all that. Copy and paste also acts as a note transpose and pattern scale function. So imagine the entire screen, including zoom and note position, as the area that's being copied from. So if we change the note position on the screen or the zoom, it will paste from that selection. So let's just show you what I mean here. So let's say we're in 16th view and we want to copy screen 2 two more times. So I'm looking only at two. Let's hold down learn and then we tap the left right knob. Now it said copy. So we just copied that. So I want to paste here. We're in screen three. I want to paste here so I'm going to hold shift learn tap left right knob. So paste you just add shift to the copy function. So there it is. Let's extend again flicking it over. So we're at four bars. Shift, learn, paste. So now I have the first screen of notes, second, and then seconds duplicated the three and four. And let's listen to it. So it doesn't just work like a regular copy paste. That was just the normal function we just did. Let's say we want to copy this screen and let's zoom out. Now we're in looking at one to three. So one, two, 
three, four. So I'm going to do, let's just paste it here. Now what that's going to do, it's going to replace, we zoomed out and it's going to replace right on top there. So we just extended the pattern. Whereas back here, it was a lot quicker. Hold down left, right knob, press play. And then from here. Now, I want to move up to here, to this note, because that's just the first note. I'm going to hold down, learn, press copy. Now, I'm just going to go down a couple notes to say this note. So right now we're here, down to here. So shift, learn, left, right knob. And we just transpose that. So I could also, let's copy it, zoom in to 64th and just paste there. Let's go up a couple notes, paste, go over here, up a couple notes, paste, up a couple notes, paste. Now let's zoom out. So you can really quickly come up with different ideas and experiment using the copy and paste function. So again, one last time, learn, left, right knob, press that down. That's to copy the screen. Shift, learn, left, right knob, pastes that screen according to the note that we're at and the zoom. So I'm going to clear all this. We're going to go back to one bar. We're in 16th view, back to normal. So what I'm going to do now is put in some notes so let's play it okay so we have those notes playing but I want a little variation so maybe the second note I'm holding it down we're gonna turn the knob to the left let's give that 70 percent chance of playing so there's a 30 percent chance that's not gonna play So there it is. So there's a chance that it'll play. Let's say I want it to switch these notes. So I kind of like how that sounds. So what I'm going to do is have, I'm going to hold these two notes down. We're going to turn it to the right. So we're going to say every first time it loops, it's going to play those notes. And then we're going to put in two more notes. I'm going to hold those notes down and turn that to two of two. So now it's going to play these notes first, and then the second time it plays, it's going to play those two notes. I can also add other notes. Let's add them up here. Okay, let's hold those down. We're going to turn the knob to the left to 50. So both of those have a 50% chance. What that means is if th that percentage adds up to 100, it's going to choose either or of those notes. So let's try it. I don't like those notes. I'm going to make it lower. There. Let's do that. So let's add another note. Let's make these two notes. Turn that to 50. So now it's kind of generating its own melody based on the parameters I told it. 